Hi, I'm Don Dinsdale. I work at WeBoost, formerly Wilson Electronics, and I primarily design and test antennas. Today, I'm going to try to explain to you the difference between an omnidirectional antenna and a directional antenna. So this is a directional antenna. It primarily receives energy from this direction and transmits energy in this direction, whereas an omnidirectional antenna receives and transmits energy 360 degrees. An omnidirectional antenna means that the energy radiates all the way around the antenna. This is a very simple omnidirectional antenna. So the energy radiates all the way around this. Now, remember that most antennas act just like the dipole we talked about a moment ago. So this antenna requires a magnetic plane, so like the roof of your car, to act as the bottom part of the dipole. Remember that a dipole looks like this, but you can also turn it sideways so it looks like this. And that's what this is. So this omnidirectional antenna radiates all the way around like this, and the actual radiation pattern kind of looks like a donut. So you've got energy that goes like this, and then energy that goes like this. Now, remember that I'm showing you a slice of the energy. So if you take this and make it 360 degrees, you can see it's the shape of a donut. You have a dead area here, and you have a dead area here, and you have radiated power on both sides. And it radiates 360 degrees. That's an omnidirectional antenna. So this is another example of an omnidirectional antenna. And it's also a dipole. However, because this is a marine antenna, and it's designed to mount onto a fiberglass boat, we don't have a bunch of metal for the bottom plane. If you recall, an omnidirectional antenna, a dipole, looks like this. And this is your feed point. So what we've done is we've put this ground plane right here, these radials, and they're tuned to 800 megahertz and 1900 megahertz. And because they radiate this way, they fool this antenna into thinking that this is ground. So this is one version of an omnidirectional antenna. Inside of here is a whip that's about 12 inches long, and it acts just like this antenna does. Only this one is designed to go on top of a car. This one goes on a boat. You can see that it's waterproof, and it works very well. So these are two versions of an omnidirectional antenna, and you can see all these other antennas down here that are amazing, and they all work very well. For a directional antenna, the easiest antenna to talk about for a directional antenna is a Yagi antenna, and this is a Yagi antenna. It's pretty simple. How a Yagi antenna works is very similar to an omnidirectional antenna, but we're using directors and a reflector to make the power radiated energy go out that direction and that direction only as best as possible. So these directors, they make this energy want to go that way. And this, you can see this one's a little bit taller on both sides. And it makes the energy also want to go in that direction because it tries to go this way, hits this, and then bounces back. This is the driving element, and this is the grounding element. So just like in our omnidirectional antenna, that's the driving element right here, and this is the grounding element. So the energy would go that way. Then we put this large reflector out here and it makes the energy want to go that way. The reality is we could have directional antenna without these elements. It just wouldn't be as directional or as powerful. So you put these out here, such slightly smaller, but you'll notice they're all the same size. And what they do is encourage that energy to come in or go out, and they give this antenna some gain. Gain is basically taking power and increasing that power or that radiated energy. So the pattern that this antenna looks like, looks like this. 
and then you'll get a little spike, and then you get a little bit off the end. Now the antenna itself is sitting right here, right, and then it's mounted to a tree or whatever. So the energy is primarily going in this direction. You do get a little bit off the backside, but not much. So this antenna will not work as an omnidirectional antenna. Basically, you use this antenna, find the cell tower that you desire to utilize, and point it at it. So some things to keep in mind and take into consideration is an omnidirectional antenna is really great for a vehicle. And that's because the vehicle is moving through space, and so it's bouncing off different cell towers. Whereas a directional antenna, if you were to put a directional antenna on your car and then point it at a cell tower, well, as soon as you went to the grocery store, that cell tower still stays there, but you're now over there. So a directional antenna won't work for a vehicle. A directional antenna is really good for a home or a business installation because you can tune your system for, for optimal coverage on the inside using a directional antenna. I hope everything that I've explained today was apparent and that you understood it. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave that. And uh, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be releasing more videos in the future. Have a great day.